take a look at these brand new on the market Cree LED light bulbs. Well, they're supposed to be something special, so are they or aren't they? I think they are. I think they're a milestone in LED lighting for consumers. Well, for one thing, they cost a lot less. For example, let's say you want to replace a 60 watt incandescent or a 60 watt equivalent CFL. So you need to find a light bulb that puts out around 800 lumens. So you go into your local department store, check out the lighting section, and you see <clears throat> you see they have a selection of LEDs. And you look at the prices and wow, you spend upwards of 40 bucks. You know, the range is usually 20 to 40 bucks. That's a little bit steep, I think. I'm not going to spend that kind of money. I don't think the general consumer is going to drop, you know, an average of 30 bucks on an LED bulb. So Cree's come in here and really cut the price significantly. The 60 watt daylight bulb is $14. The warm white is 13 and the 40 watt warm white is only ten dollars so for an LED bulb that is a significant cut in price and uh, they don't have the daylight version of the 40 watt but they do have the daylight 60 watt and warm white 60 so you have three options there the other big improvement is the efficiency now, I've been kind of disappointed with LED bulbs. The efficiency is really not matching CFLs yet. There are a few that are equal to or better, but they're pretty expensive. Efficiency of a lighting source is rated lumens per watt. And to give you a comparison, your ordinary incandescent 40 watt bulb is about 12 lumens per watt. A 60 watt is around 15 ordinary spiral CFLs are 60 lumens per watt give or take a few so you can see stepping up to a CFL is a huge improvement in efficiency well the those expensive LED bulbs nowadays are in the 50 to 60 range so many of them don't even match up to a CFL so you know it's somewhat of a disappointment well, Cree's come in here and improved the efficiency quite a bit. The 40 watt LED warm white is 75 lumens per watt. So that's head and shoulders above the ordinary CFLs. The warm white 60 watt is, if I recall correctly, it's 84 lumens per watt. And this daylight, this daylight replacement 60 watt, is 89 lumens per watt. That is impressive, especially for the price. 89 lumens per watt, 14 bucks. So to me, this is a huge milestone in LED lighting. Well, enough of that. Let's take a look at the bulb. As you can see, it looks somewhat like an incandescent. Now if you compare it to this one, the, the problem with this type of LED bulb, it shoots most of the light upwards and out. So this one's an improvement because it emits the light more, you know, more in a sphere. And doesn't quite do as well from the top, but I'll look at that later. So it's much better for standard incandescent replacement applications. I have this little lighting display set up with 40 watt equivalent warm white bulbs. I have the Utilitech 7.5 watt 430 lumen bulb there, LED. This is a 9 watt CFL, ordinary 40 watt incandescent. And here's the 6 watt 450 lumen warm white Cree bulb. Kind of has an etched glass look to it as opposed to the frosted soft white. 
and uh, I really like the lighting quality. It may be hard to tell in the video, but the CFL kind of has a yellowish cast to the light where the Cree matches almost identical to the incandescent. The problem with this bulb over here, it doesn't emit a lot of light downwards. It's really dark down there. And these other bulbs are much better. I guess the only negative with the Cree, it doesn't emit a lot of light upward. But, you know, that could be advantageous in certain, certain light, lighting fixtures. Let's say you have an outdoor base down type lighting fixture. Instead of emitting a bunch of light up into the sky where it's wasted, it emits all those lumens out to the side. Or, well, it's still fairly wide, but instead of shooting them upwards, you get most of the light out to the side where it can be used more. So overall I'm pretty impressed with these light bulbs by Cree. And as soon as my camera adjusts to the light, that's a small heat sink. It is a glass dome with like a silicon rubber coating on it. Kind of like those uh, shatter resistant rough neck type bulbs. Some people are concerned about the small heat sink. Now compared to this one, it gets almost too hot to hold. This one's about the same. But it's so much smaller. We well, have to remember this is 6 watts 450 lumens versus 7.5 430 so this has a lot less watt to waste as heat so it can do with a smaller heat sink the only other thing is how long these things last will they last up to their rated lifetime I mean if you create a, a nice product like this and it doesn't last that long What's the point? You don't want to scare away customers. I don't think Cree would do that. I think it will last long, but you know that remains to be seen. Well, that's it. That's my review of the Cree LED light bulb.